In this video, I'll show you what is the difference between a simple copy command and a repeat command in Stack Pro. So let's begin. Hi, I'm Kushal from Hashtag Begin. This is a series on Stack Pro. If you haven't joined my private Facebook group yet, go and do so. I'll share the links in the description below. Also, if you are not subscribed till now, please, please do so. I'm sharing some awesome content here for free. So without further ado, let's get into the software. Head over to your desktop, click on Stack Pro to open it. I'll quickly create a new project. I'll name it Repeat. I'll just copy the name and I'll paste it. I've already done it. So I'll just click on Next. I'll click on Yes. Click on Finish. I'm leaving the default units as it is. So this is the Snap Node Grid. This is where you end up by default. I have made an entire video on the power of using snap node beam just go and check it out after this video so i'll just create a simple frame by clicking on the nodes on the grid i'll hit escape to get out of it so i'll just close this snap node beam and i have my beams ready i'll sh quickly show you what is the exact difference between a copy command and a repeat command and why you must be using repeat commands so uh, firstly i'll be talking about a simple repeat that is the translational repeat and then i'll be taking over on the rotational repeat aspect. First, let me show you how to use the copy command. For example, if you have to create this over and over again in the set Z direction, it's wise to use the copy commands. In general, in any software, you'll be using a copy command and so goes with start row. So if I just want to copy it, I can hit the uh, short key control C or I can go to edit and click on copy. Once I've copied it, I can hit control B short key or I can just go to edit again and click on paste beams. Once I paste beams, it is asking me where do I want to move it. For example, if I had wanted to move it in the Z direction, in the front direction by say 4 meters, I'll just click on this and give it 4. I'll click on OK and it's done. Again, if I wanted to move it, I'll just go to edit again and I'd, I'll go to paste again and I'll instead of 4, I'll give it to 8 and I'm done. So you see how easy it is with the copy command. But now what if I, I had wanted these nodes to be linked? You don't want orphan members in Strat Pro. So I'll just hit Control Z two times to get back. So let me show you how Strat Pro has taken this copy command one notch up. So just select everything again, go to geometry, go to translation repeat. Now I'll describe this window first. So the the part where you see global direction, this is the direction in which you want your selections to be repeated. In our case, for example, we have this 2D frame. We want to repeat it, say, in the Z direction just to compare it with the copy. So in that case, I'll be choosing the Z direction. The second aspect is the spacing of the steps. So for each step, how much distance do you want? And the number of steps are defined from here. You can define in how many number of steps you want to repeat it. For example, in our previous copy command, we did it two times. So out here, instead of doing the control C, control V, control C, control V two times, I can just hit on this two. I can choose the default spacing. In our case, we had used four. So I'll just use four again. And as soon as I get back, I have my four spacings. Now, if I just leave everything as it is and click on OK, you will see I have done my control C or the copy command directly without doing it two times without entering it manually. So I'll just hit control Z again. So I'll select everything again. Go to trans I can go to translation repeat from here. Now there are two more options or rather three more options. The first is renumber bay. Renumber bay is used to renumber your members. This is particularly useful in case when you're repeating your structure in the Y direction. So you have different floors. You can just start your beam numbering with say 101, 102, 103 for the first floor, 201, 202, 203 for the second floor and so on. So that's a very good or a neat trick to use. Now the second command is the link steps. I'll first of all show you how to link it. So I'll just click on link. I'll make the same settings again. I'll click on global direction being Z, the steps being 2 and the default spacing being 4 just to compare with the control C command or the copy command we use. So I'll, in this case, I'll just leave it as it is and click on OK. 
now you saw what has happened this member has been translated but all the nodes which could not be translated or which were not connected by a beam have been connected or have been linked however in this case we did not want this base to be connected so i'll just click ctrl z again go to translation repeat once more click on z 2 and 4 and this time although i'm linking the steps i'm keeping the open base so anything at the base won't be connected i'll just click on ok and you see i'm done so this is the power of translation repeat use it as frequently as you can let me select everything and delete everything now i'll show you how to use the circular repeat and this is very powerful when you're creating domes and such so i'll just get back to my snap node beam so this is one of the places to get back to the snap node beam the other is going to the geometry going to snap node grid and beam so i'll just zoom it a bit now let's say in order in this case i want to create a dome kind of a structure so i'll just create one part of the dome so for example i just need something like this and i want this to be throughout i'll just show you what i mean by that i'll just exit out of the snap node beam so i have this as one of just one of the members i just want to repeat it in a circular manner so the best way to do it is going to geometry going to circular repeat and we have a few options here so the first option is the axis from which axis do i want to rotate it so your selection would be rotated along this axis in this case we want our rotation to be along the y axis so i'll just leave the y axis the second part is the y axis is to pass through which node so you can either give the node coordinates as 0 0 or you can just select the node as well for example in our case it is 0 0 but if i had to select a node i can simply go and select this node so the y would be passing through this node so it's the same thing now you can use this as a reference for the beta angles i'll talk about beta angles in a separate video and then you'll be able to understand this option but this was not available in a prior version of start this has been made available because the beta angles were not transferred or referred in the same way the next is the total angle of sweep so how much do i want to repeat it so in this case let us go for a 360 an entire circle and i'll increase the steps to say 12 so in how many steps or how many repeats of these members do you want to make next is do i want to link the steps or not so i'll just hit on linking the steps as well and in this case i can leave my base open so i'll just click on open base now these two options are very similar to the translation repeat i showed you so i'll just leave it as it is and i'll click on ok to show you what happens and you see i'm done with the dome it's not exactly a dome but it's a kind of a conical structure so you see how easy it is when you're doing it with the circular command now you can use it use this feature anywhere in your projects well that is all for this video this was a short tutorial on using the translation repeats and the circular repeats since i'll be talking about these two features very frequently i wanted to make an entire video on it well if you are not subscribed till now please hit that subscribe button and do hit that notification bell I have some cool content coming up for you. If you like this video, do hit that like button. That is for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.